My name is Tommy in C2010, and I am a YouTuber, entrepreneur slash rapper, world heavyweight slash Comedy Central MTV's made champion, and I am the great one. And I am here to tell you about positivity, and that the fact that if you, if I can do it, that you can do it. My time on Tosh was interesting. It was short and sweet, if you know what I mean. I flew out to L.A. and. Uh, and uh, got a nice hotel, Double Tree Hotel, and uh, very good quality. And they f they sent me, they picked me up at the hotel. I went out and uh, met Daniel Tosh. Uh, I didn't meet him directly. We just did a bunch of paperwork, and then we got to the tent. And next thing I know, Daniel is walking. Daniel is walking. And Daniel comes in the tent. I meet him. We do like an hour, a half an hour's worth of interview. And questions that some questions didn't end up on the show, and then we did skits. That was interesting. I got a few pictures with Daniel, and then I went off and I did some other stuff. And I met a YouTuber by the name of Cool Duder, and uh, Cinema Stalker, and uh, it was an interesting experience. And LA smells like chlorine. Tosh Tilty. Um, he yes, he's he was a nice guy to me. He treated me with uh, kid gloves, if you know what I mean. A guy that, it's, he's very, you know, I don't know how to read Daniel. Um, you know, his producers, he was on his producers constantly. Um, one of the funniest things, he went on a rant for an hour talking about a cell phone. The cell phone, he had seen the cell phone. He's like, whose cell phone is this? Whose cell phone is this? And I'm like, oh, we rented it for $50. Daniel says, my gosh, you're telling me you rent a phone for $50? All of us have phones here. We have phones. Tommy has a phone. Do you think Tommy would rent a phone for $50? No, he has a phone. Does, would you do that, Tommy? I'm like, no. And I didn't say much, really. I just said no. So he's like, oh, thank goodness we have the phone here. It's worth $50, you know. It's the tiniest things that he would uh, do. Um, one of the things he did was his. Uh, he was cleaning... He it was it, we were doing this one thing and it involved shoe bombs, fake shoe bombs, and a terrorist. But we didn't put that up on the show. Um, so what happened with that was is he ends up pulling it out, and apparently they had burnt these shoes, and there was black stuff on them. And he got them over his hands. He's like, I need a wipe because it's all over my hands. And so he kind of got a little picky at that point. But uh, Daniel is a nice guy. Everybody pins him out to be a douchebag, and not really. He's not much of a douchebag. Yeah, I say this to everybody. I only got to talk to Daniel not that much. Like, I spoke to him, said hello to him, my name's Tommy, and that's it. And I didn't get to say who or who you're dating, you're dating somebody famous, or what you do, are you a gamer? For one second, I turned to him and I said, you a gamer? And he's like, Tommy, focus. And I focused, and I did the scene. And I never really found out about Daniel Tosh, who, who the real Daniel Tosh is, because the Daniel Tosh we see on TV is an image. I don't know exactly. Uh, I just know it's the hotel. It's the Doubletree Hotel. I just know it's a hotel I stayed at, and it was a good quality. I like to be, I don't like to make myself look perfect, but the thing is I like to look nice and like to be a little different from other people. And I actually started wearing suits back in high school because I saw a movie where a guy was wearing a suit and he was getting respect. So I said, I should wear suits. And that makes me feel a little bit different and, you know, not blend in with the crowd because... Tommy in Seek 2010 is not just your average person. He is a person that is positive and naturally caring and wants to do nice things for people and just explode the world and be the, one of the biggest names here on YouTube and express how I feel about this business today and that anybody here on YouTube can become a YouTuber just by picking up a camera like this and... <laughs> Um, <laughs> what? This is my vlogging camera. It's a wide angle lens point and shoot, and I do vlogs with it all the time. Chris Perillo uses this camera, 
he was the reason why I got it. He was one of my other inspirations why I became a you started vlogging. And, you know, I, you know, I don't feel like that Taj.0 fell in my lap. I feel like Taj.0 landed in my lap. And I said, hey, Daniel. And he was like, hey, Tommy, I want you on my show. And I'm like, okay, Daniel. I feel like I don't I'm an equalist opportunity person. I just go forth. I get in the center of the ring. And I just do what I have to do when I can. And perform the best that I can. And, you know, I keep professionalism on my talk show, Tommy Talks. And, you know, I, I have gone through stages with my show and just to do things to get to the standards of what I am. I want to make myself an image on YouTube. I want to have people know the name Tommy NC2010. And, the, and if you're, the next, your next question, I'm guessing, is going to be, what is Tommy NC2010? Where does that name come from? One, Tommy is my name. Two, we're in Western North Carolina. And three, Tommy NC, NC was the day I graduated from high school. So it's kind of simple. It rolls on the tongue. Tommy NC 2010. Tommy N. Wait a minute. Tommy N. Wait a minute. Go get this. We're getting this right. Tommy NC 2010. <laughs> Green screen that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I. I believe in positivity, I believe in helping people, doing things, and doing natural good deeds. And I've done a lot of good deed videos on my channel. Um, her eggs make me feel like Batman, that's a video it aired on uh, Tosh.0. Um, I've done videos talking about what I think about women, equal rights for women, and men not being dirtbags and beating them up because they think, oh, I have a, a tiny penis and I have to beat them up because... I don't think the right way, so I have to beat you up and run. this is what I think, and you have to listen to me. No, I think people like their assholes. I'll tell you to your face. If I think if you beat a woman, I'm going to say you're an asshole. And you better protect yourself because I will beat you down. And if you beat somebody that I know as a female, I'm going to hurt you. And I'm sorry to say this, but I do. I stand up for people. I stand up for anybody. Men, women, children. If I see anybody trying to harm somebody, I will stick up for that person. Because I believe in helping people. And people need to learn that in today's society. It's not just to care about yourself. It's about other people around you. Go out, do a good deed. But the thing about it is I said, don't be too showboaty. But I guess I was nervous when I said that. But you can be, you can go back in between, back and forth. So when you are doing what you want to do and you want to be what you want to be, you, all you have to do Turn on your camera, <laughs> not have it upside down. Turn on your camera and say, Hello, I'm blankety blankety. Like I say every day, Hello, I'm Tommy NC 2010. And I'm keeping you on the inside fact. Now, a lot of people ask, The inside fact, what is it? It's catchy, it rolls off the tongue. And I used to have another catchphrase, but I'd rather not talk about that because it was kind of controversy and I went back and forth about it. But I say inside fact because I like to say I'm keeping you on the inside of the fact of who I am and what you are and what topic I'm talking about. And that it's a catchphrase that rolls all the time, keeping you on the inside fact. I'm just that good. I am a guy, it just... Knows questions. You see, I'm the man with the golden microphone. I have a show called Tommy Talks, which I interview people and ask them questions and all sorts of things. And I'm I'm one of the, I'm the guy that interviews people and asks them questions. So I know questions that people are going to ask me, like Tommy, why? Are, or, you know, are you on drugs? Are you high? And I say no. I'm on a drug called Tommy and C2010. And I'm running every day, and I just love to live life. And the day I die, I hope it's one of the biggest days ever. I hope it's sunny. I hope it's beautiful. I hope people have smiles on their face. I want Nickelback playing at my funeral. I said I want my coffin. I want my coffin to rise out of the ground, smoke to come out. We're going out today to get you every day to get it in we want. Going to the then we burn to the ground. <laughs> but I want everybody to be dancing at my funeral and have a great time. Drink. No smoking, sorry, just drinking, 
but have a good time, eat as much as food as you want, pig out, go to the funeral, and kapoots. I would stand up for them too. And you know, there's there's been a lot of controversy because I can't remember his name, but he's a gentleman that has just become a woman. And people, I, if you ask me what I think about that, I don't really have an opinion because I don't know who he is. And you know, he wanted to do what he wanted to. He wanted to take his million dollars and make himself into a woman or something like that. I really have no opinions. I don't dig into the subjects that are controversy on my channel because I don't believe in digging in controversy. I don't believe making somebody a publicity case and making it look like a big scene. I believe in just letting it flow and talking about positivity and just doing what catches my eye. And news stories, you know, for instance, the guy who played Screech, he went to prison because apparently he tried to stab somebody at a bar and he got sent to prison. But I saw that in a news story on Facebook. I don't know if it's true or not, but, you know, I see all sorts of interesting things on Facebook. And I'm just like, why are the people posting this crap if they know it's negative? And they just, they don't care. They just see it. And, I, of course, I made a joke. I said, Mr. Belden can't save you. Screech now. Bubba has your butt now. <laughs> uh, I looked at the picture and I, I don't really have an opinion about it. And so it's just up in the air with me. But I do say I like the ladies. I do. I am a ladies man. Well, not that many. Um, because uh, some of them don't like the soup. Sometimes they uh, like intensely. I have a few friends. And uh, for the few friends I have, I'm lucky to have them. And, you know, I've... Uh, I've dated a few girls, and I dated one girl that was really tall, and when I, when I stood next to her, it looked like I was her son. And uh, I dated one girl that uh, we dated off and on, and uh, she broke up with me and then came back to me. One of those drama cases, I'm not going to say her name, but she, we went off and on. That was before I was ever, I, I would have loved to have been with YouTube and making videos. I could have filmed hours and hours of conversations of her craziness just going off on me saying stupid things that I was cheating on her and I once dated a girl all the way in Tennessee that I didn't even know that she called me one night and we started talking and then she asked me out over the phone that night and we started dating for a while and she lived in Tennessee and I had no way of getting over there so I dated her for a while broke up and then her friend that girl that broke up with me gave her number to gave my number to her she called me up dated me I never met her from Adam and then she hooked up with one of my friends Halen and then started dating him and then it just completely unraveled and I never I haven't heard from her I know she had a kid and the other kid other girl had a kid too and I haven't heard from them none of them are mine but uh just <laughs> You have to laugh. You have to laugh because if you don't laugh, you don't have laughter in your life, you just are miserable. And, you know, there's different forms of laughter. There's negative laughter and then there's positive laughter. If you're, if you're laughing at a comedian because his joke is funny or if you're laughing at somebody because they are something wrong, everybody's had that constant slip up where they see somebody fall on their ass and hurt their self and then they, <laughs> dude, are you all right? Or the, the classic video where the guy's revving his scooter and he's trying to jump off this thing, but he's way bigger than what the scooter allows. He jumps off, and it's classic YouTube video or the guys that are using the golf balls and they're trying to nail it off their testicles, and bam, it hits them right in the balls. You know, that, sometimes that's what people see on YouTube. But you know, it's YouTube entrepreneurial, you Hollywood. Rock Lesnar, 
I want you to come to Black Mountain. I want to beat the snot out of you. I want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. But you know what? Instead of you coming to Black Mountain, I want WWE to call me. And I want to get in the center of the ring with you. And I want my tag team partner to be Kevin Owens. And I want him to fight me and you and him fight against each other. And I want to bury you and I want to take a steel chair and bash your face open. Because you know what? You're a mercenary. A heartless mercenary. It goes after people. And when you lose your tile, you, you, you F5 a cameraman. You know what? You're dirt, Brock Lesnar. You're scum. You're worthless, Brock Lesnar. I don't like you. I don't want to see you in the WWE. Of course, in the WWE wants you because then you make the millions of dollars. But you know who actually makes him millions of dollars? John Cena. And he's going to be going out the door soon because he's getting old and wrinkly. Nah! But... <laughs> but Brock Lesnar, me and you, mano a mano. Duke a duke. Knock you out. Knock, knock, I'm going to knock you out. Knock, knock, I'm going to knock you out. I'm going to scissor him on the wrist. I'm going to get him on the wrist. I'm going to get Brock Lesnar. I choke slam to the ground. Coming for you, Brock Lesnar. Knock, knock, coming for you. Knock, knock, I'm coming for you, Brock Lesnar. Tommy NC 2010 with the belt. World Heavyweight Comedy Central slash MTV's main champion. Coming for you. Gonna give you an F5. Ooh, yes. Gonna give you an F5 or a choke slam or a tombstone pile driver. You know what I mean? I'm crazy like that because I'm Funktaculous. Tommy NC Funktaculous coming together. Gonna give you a butt whooping and ass whooping like that because I'm a rapper. I'm Funktaculous coming after you like a monsoon. F5. My friend Hamza bought it for me. He bought it at a Goodwill and he handed it to me one day and he said, Tommy, would you like to wear this? And I said, hell yes.